everyone, I'm Chris Eric Lee. Good Monday to you and welcome to the week 10 edition of the HS Game Time at You Pick'em Show. Joined always by the Panda Bear, Pablo Sandoval, a.k.a. John Murphy. It's a good day to be a P-Dog, that's for sure. Anyways, let us first, before we begin the week before the playoffs, look back at our week 9 winner. We had Jason Ludbland from Ukaipa, 13 out of 15. The winners keep rolling. Last week was not an easy one, and this week may not be an easy one either. We've got definitely a few coin flips as far as the predicting the games go. Our first game, though, will be a big showdown in the Big 8. Centennial and Santiago P-Dog, does it get any bigger than this? No, it doesn't. You know, with both teams at 4-0, um, big showdown for first place. Um, you know, logic would, would dictate that the Huskies come out on top. I mean, they've been the kingpin in that league for a while. And uh, I do have to lean towards them. I know that with Jeff Steinberg at Santiago, if I pick against <laughs> them and they win, I'll be getting robo-text messages from them uh -oh. and uh, calling me out on it. So sorry to the pie eater, but I've, I've got to lean a little bit towards the Huskies uh, with Robert Weber, you know, carrying the rock um, or even throwing passes. Yes. And, uh, you know, Barry Ware hauling in passes. Um, Santiago, they counter with Mike Dar. You know, he can pass it. He can throw it. Um, one game to look at. They both played close games with Norco and, and squeaked out victories. So that offers some hope for Santiago, and we'll see what happens. Could be a showdown down to the last minute. That's what happened with Norco and Centennial. Right now, 90% taking Centennial. So definitely Husky Nation is coming out in full force. Another big game that could possibly go down to the finish as well is Rim of the World versus Banning. <clears throat> P-Dog, who do you like? Uh, you know, this is going to be a really interesting game. It's kind of... Uh, you know, Styrone Harrison with the, with the great speed against uh, Rim of the World, which is more methodical, but also has the great running back. It's a battle of two great backs in, in Harrison and, uh, and Taylor. Um, you know, they, they both have uh, over 2,000 yards rushing. Harrison, mostly from the quarterback position. Uh, of course, he's, you know, a real flyer. He's as fast as anybody you're going to see. Um, Taylor is more methodical. He's got a very good, uh, efficient offensive line in front of him. Um, they'll be moving the ball down and with chunks of yardage, whereas, you know, you can pretty much expect Banning to break some big plays. How many of them? I'm not sure. I like Rim in this game um, by maybe a touchdown. Our third big game on the menu this week, definitely the talk of the Elsinore and Menifee areas, Heritage versus Elsinore. It's also our tiebreaker game this week. Currently 77% taking the side of Heritage and also a predicted score of 29 at 23 in Heritage's favor. P-Dog, you got to imagine this one's going to be a shootout. Uh, yeah, and another very interesting game, very evenly matched. You know, Heritage once again with... Uh, with uh, uh, Jamal Morrow um, carrying the ball. He's had a great season with 1,500 plus yards. Darius Allensworth, he can do it all, hauling in passes and returning the ball. Uh, Nick Avney has uh, 8.6 tackles per game. And then Sione Takitaki has uh, five sacks, I believe, on the year. Um, Heritage is at home. And I, I kind of like that as the deciding factor in a, an otherwise very close game. Should be a game that will not disappoint. Also a game that should not disappoint. A shootout also in the Southwest. Vista Marietta, pretty much the king of the Riverside County right now. Unstoppable against Chaparral. Chaparral, we were hoping for an undefeated league showdown between these two teams. Chaparral slipped up last week against Marietta Valley, losing to them. Can they bounce back with what would be a gigantic win against Vista Marietta? Uh, well, you know, anything's possible, as our San Francisco Giants proved course, over the weekend. Of course, uh, Nobody was picking them. And uh, sorry to say, Chaparral, but I'm not picking you in this game. Um, Vista Marietta is outscoring league opponents by a 5-to-1 ratio. But the games are played on the field, so that lends some hope for the Pumas. Um, you know, let's not forget they've got some talent with uh, Harris at running back and uh, 
Skylar Seabold, he can, he can chew up some time pounding the ball on the ground, and then Chris Stratton um, making catches on, on the outside. But Vista Murrieta, I mean, you know, they pretty much have it all. They've got Stevens at quarterback and uh, Holmes um, running the ball, the great defense with Sua Cravens. Um, I, I just think they've got too much for Chaparral, but we'll see what happens. Vista Murrieta will be at home, definitely looking to defend their home territory, that's for sure. All right, P-Dog, thanks for joining us. That does it for this week's edition of the HS Game Time You Pick 'em Show. Be sure to get all your picks in by 5 p.m. on Friday, and we'll see you out there on Friday night.